Hi, this is Sins and Things, and today we're going to talk about the Hydra Editor. About a year ago, I already made a small introduction video, but today we're going to continue that and talk about the different sources you can use to, to make your visuals in the Hydra Editor. All right, so let's get started. Right now, we're already using uh, an oscillator with a frequency of six. So let's make it a little bit more enjoyable. And this is actually one of the first sources that you will come up with. But next to the oscillator, you also have the noise source. And as you can see, the noise source gives you quite a bit of noise. We can scale up the noise as you get like some sort of television static by changing the offset and the skill. Or maybe like a lava lamp kind of vibe. Something like this. So yeah, that's uh, another source you can use to uh, make your visuals. Next to the noise, we also have the shape, which initially gives you a triangle, but you can uh, change the sides and the radius and the smoothing. As you can see, let's make it a bit smaller. And um, you can also make like a hexagon, octagon, make it more of a star looking blur. And next to that you can also switch in between shapes. So let's say 3.75. As you can see, it kind of is a shape between the triangle and the square. So yeah, that's what you can uh, do with uh, shapes. Basically, you can also make a circle. And next to the shape source, you also have a solid shape, which is basically a color. Initially, it's black, as you can see. But when you change the parameters, which go between 0 and 1. Uh, you'll get a color. Hey, let's change it up a bit. So that's a lot of blue. And here you can edit the green. As you can see on top of my screen, you can see the parameters that can be changed. So that will be red is, or the R is red, G is green, B is blue, and A is alpha, if I'm correct. So let's add a bit more red to it. You get like a pinkish purple kind of color. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And let's see. Oh. Next to the solids, you also have Vornoi, if I pronounce that correctly. It's like a diamond shape kind of visual. Let's scale it up, makes it slower and blend it a bit. Now you have like a like a sparkling water, I don't know what it is, kind of visual. Let's maybe make it even bigger. Like some sort of night sky, I guess. Or make it uh, zoom it in. Like floating bubbles. All right, so that's that. And last but not least, you have the gradient, which initially is kind of static, but if you change the speed, it morphs from a more bluish kind of gradient to a more greenish kind of gradient. So those are the sources you can use. Uh, but next to that, you can give all those sources their own output as well, which becomes very handy in the future to modulate inputs or other outputs, etc. But we'll get back to that in another video. To give it a different output, we'll use the command output and give it an O of output and a zero as a channel number. And let's give a couple of other sources their own output as well. Oh, shape. Uh, there are only four outputs that can be used, but eventually that should be enough. 
And if we want to see it all together, we use render. Oh, wait, I see what I did wrong. I was misspelled for annoy. Here we go. So now we have all the outputs in one go, which can be handy. Now we would use the noise, the shape, and the Voronoi. But um, yeah, that's how we uh, use the, uh, the output buffers, basically. So I think this would be enough for now. Um, just keep changing the parameters of all the sources and to get familiar with it. And in the next video, we'll check out uh, other possibilities we can use for the Hydra editor. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any other future videos I'm gonna upload. All right, that'll be it. Thanks for watching and have a good day.